Hello and welcome along to Come Dine With Us. This is the third one that we have done, so hopefully you've watched the other two as well. So it is lovely to have you here. And you probably have just come over from watching, who's doing the starters tonight? I think, oh, it's Ewan, isn't it? Hello, I'm Ewan, and for the starters, we are going to be doing some baked garlicky mushrooms. It's a really simple five ingredient recipe from Jamie Oliver, and I'll be knocking you up a cheeky cocktail. So Ewan's do the starter, so hello if you've just had your starter and I hope you enjoyed it. We're on to the main now, my name is Kate, hello, I hope you're okay. And I'm gonna be doing the main course for our dinner party and you are the guest, so I hope you're feeling well and would you like a drink? I'll make you one in a minute. And then after this, you've got to go and watch Luke Catlow because he is doing pudding. He's going to be doing something very fancy. Hi guys, my name is Luke and I am in charge of dessert this evening. So I'm going to be making a delicious Italian lemon meringue pie followed by an espresso martini. Yeah, you have to go there after you've watched, after you've had your maid, of course. I just rubbed my tummy, but you couldn't see. Oh, there you go. Oh no, I'm doing that thing. I don't know why I'm doing this. I've also got my little rabbit bunny ears. So I'm going to pop these on keep my hair back. The only thing is, I don't like this bit. I don't like the purple bit. Like I like the hair. I like these. I don't really like this bit. Uh, well, you know, oh, they're probably for kids. But anyway, next time, uh, next time I buy some of these, I'll go without the purple. It just looks like I've got, I don't know, like a little bit of Marge Simpson stuff thing going on. Anyway, I'm going to make a curry pie. Before I get into it, though, I've got to do my mug of the day and it's sitting here. It's an Easter one, so oh, happy Easter! Happy Good Friday to you, because that's when this is going out. So I hope you're having a nice day and a nice evening, and happy Easter for the weekend, even though we're all staying in. I hope you have a lovely time. So this is my mug of the day. It's from a charity shop. I think it's British Red Cross. They made these, so it's their own kind of brand. And um, I've just got some water. I've had too much coffee this morning, so I just went for a mug of water. So I'm gonna drink this and then I will start with the ingredients for the curry pie that I'm making tonight for our main course. I've just worked out why I don't like this. It's because it looks like I've got a mullet. Do you know what I mean? Because you've got the spiky bit. That's why I don't like it. I look like I've got a mullet. And then I'm just gonna get on with it because it's Easter and the bunnies are happy. Happy, happy. I'm not a fan of the mullet look, so I'm gonna take this one off for now. And I'm just gonna put my normal hair band back in. Didn't like it. Maybe feel like I was I don't know, I had a terrible spiky mullet hairdo. Right, I'm gonna show you my ingredients for the curry pie. The reason I wanted to make this is my mum used to make curry pie and it was fantastic. And she used to use this as her main, like not the main ingredient, but this was like the spice of it. So this is a packet of Schwartz Bombay potatoes, authentic, oh, I read that slowly, authentic Indian flavour. And it just says on it down here, just add 450 grams of potatoes, one onion and one tin of chopped tomatoes. So I'm going to be doing that, but I'm going to be making a pie as well and adding some chicken. I hate chopping chicken, that's a mouthful. So I'm just going to be using this, these mini fillets and there is 400 grams I think. Are there 400 grams of you? Yeah 400 grams in there and this and I'm going to be using these potatoes, these Maris Pipers and I'm going to chop them up. Peel, chop and parboil them. Look at me with the technical cooking language. Parboil and then um, I've got some chopped onion because I really hate chopping onion because it makes me cry and you know, I just buy these because they're a lot easier. Lee chops onion when he like makes stuff, but I just buy these because it's easy. And then, you might be able to hear Rufus snoring, by the way, if you hear a that's Rufus. And some phyllo pastry. I bought puff pastry and phyllo pastry because I thought just in case um, one burnt or something, <laughs> like the meringues from last week, I'd have a backup. So I'm going to try the phyllo pastry. I don't know if I need it all, but it's going to be out for two hours and I've just taken it out. So I'm gonna use it. I've never done this before. I'm, I'm not really, I've done a few meals in a slow cooker, uh, but I'm not much of a cook. I'm gonna try and do this all on my own without asking Lee for help, but we shall see. We'll see what happens. I've never done phyllo pastry. I've never done a lot of this, but I'm gonna keep going and try, because, you know, this moment, every, you know, the world's a little bit 
bit upside down and it's good to try new things. So that's what I'm trying to get out of it, is just trying new things like baking a cake, which I've never done before. And I've been exercising every day as well to Joe Wick, so it's good to do new things, you know, get the positives out of this what's going on thing. Carrots, carrots, carrots. Obviously you know they're carrots, but they're frozen ones, they're already chopped because the idea I can't be bothered to chop some carrots and some frozen peas as well. So they're gonna go into my curry pie thing. So hopefully this will turn out okay and the pie will be lovely. I also got a bit of inspiration from a video on YouTube. I found quite a few different ones and the easiest one, that was Toby laughing in the other room, the easiest one was the one I found. I thought, well, it looks simple to do. So I'll link that in the description as well, in case you want to see, you know, some a different way of, or the, the actual way of making this curry pie. So I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna do my potatoes. I'm gonna put everything else back in the fridge that doesn't need to be out. And I'm gonna get going with the chicken curry pie recipe. Alongside the curry pie, I'm gonna be serving some tender stem broccoli that's in a really small bag, but you know, there's enough to go around. We can all have about one, stem each so i've got to show you that so i'm going to put that back in the fridge and then start chopping my potatoes i'm just about to peel and chop my potatoes i've given them a little wash and i wanted to use this lovely little pie dish but i think it's going to be too small i'm going to have to use the larger deeper one instead which is a shame but i'll use you again for something else lovely little chicken dish and I'm going to peel these potatoes using one of these butter knives because I used to, when I was younger, when I used to peel potatoes, I, that's what I use. So I'm just going to do uh, the peeling with that knife, which I know some people would think was really boring, but it's just, I find it quite easy with this. So I'm going to peel them, chop them, and then boil them. Yay! I don't peel like that, I'm just messing about, okay. I've peeled, chopped, and these are parboiling, and they'll be done in about five minutes. And I forgot to say that I'm using chopped tomatoes as well. That's on the Schwartz Bombay potatoes um, packet thing. So yeah, I'm adding these as well. The potatoes are nearly done and I'm just gonna put the pan on and put the chicken in here. I'm just throwing a bit of fry light. Lee was just here, so he's helping me with this bit. <laughs> and I just text Luke to ask how many sheets of phyllo pastry I should use, and he said five or six. The chicken's just about done, and I'm gonna add some onions. There's 400 grams in here, and I'm gonna add half, so 200 grams of onions. Just gonna brown the onions off after I parboil the potatoes. Cooking, cooking language. <laughs> Sizzle, 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 sizzle. I'm gonna chuck in the frozen carrots. There you go, last two. And then the peas. And then the potatoes. Like that. Oh, oh. smash. <laughs> <laughs> and then mix them together. <laughs> One pan of chopped tomatoes. You weren't sure about that at first, were you? When I said about the chopped tomatoes. I uh, no. I think it'll be good. You do now? Mm. There's the chopped tomatoes. So I just grab the sachet now. Yeah, a little okay. bit of water. It's loads of food. Did I need too many potatoes? Uh, that'd be okay. Okay. I'll yeah, the there's quite a few potatoes. Sachet in water, yeah? Yeah. Or should I pour the water and make the mix up? Oh, that smells amazing. My mum's secret ingredient, that's what I was trying to say earlier. Not only ingredient, secret ingredient, although it wasn't actually a secret. Should I add some more water, do you reckon? Yeah. A bit more. So it's mixed all together. What do you think, Tobes? Do you like the it look of it? Good, yeah. Do you think you're going to eat this? Yeah, what are we like actually going to have tonight? This. We're going to have this What's actually it tonight. Curry pie. And we're now going to do the phyllo pastry pie bit. And we're going to actually line the dish and then put the mixture in and then put some phyllo pastry on top. Because we were just going to do the top, but we're going to make a whole pie, aren't we? Lee's going to help me. Oops, I just thought, hello. Hi. <laughs> Melted some butter. That smells really nice. Mm. It's like eggs. Or it's not eggs. So I put the pastry on here because we're going to add some melted butter and then put this on the bottom. Or should I get a bigger sheet a first? Thing. Yeah. Right. Okay. Not to like overlap. Okay. That's 
going down. If I do the pie that way, then you can see a bit better. Where's my spoon? So do you want to do this? You can do it to scoop it. We haven't got a, spread, no, just spread it a washer it. thing. We haven't got like a brush. a brush. So I'm just spreading it this way. And then I'm going to pick this up and do it that way. Overlap it like that. Oh. That looks so good. The mixture's going in. Like that. And then can you put butter on the top? You want to like the end. Just folding the edges in. You can move that other stuff in a bit. I'm going to carry on. Oh, ow, that's hot, that butter. Okay, I'm just going to do the last little bits here. So crinkly here. I'm just going to drizzle the rest of the butter on top. And then it's going to go in the oven. How long do you reckon in the oven? And the pie is ready to go in the oven. It looks good, doesn't it? Yay! So all the buttering is done and the puff pastry is crisped it on. We've scrunched it up. And what was I going to say? I didn't try the mix. I probably should have tried it, but I forgot to. I was too busy uh, making it. I love the look of that. I'm really hoping it doesn't burn. I'm just going to quickly wash my hands and we'll go upstairs and find a posh dress to wear. And I did a declutter of this room, so you might have watched that video, so it's really easy now to find my clothes. So I'm going to go for, we're going for quite a posh, you know, a posh outfit tonight because it's the third in the series and you've got to vote for a winner, which I'll say more about at the end. I love this dress. I haven't worn it yet. And that was from a charity shop. That was £9.99. So it's between that, between that one or this beautiful one also from a charity shop this one's brand new actually haven't worn it yet either oh and that was yeah well almost 20 pounds and it's brand new with the tags and that was originally 90. this one as well i love it again i haven't worn it i bought it from a charity shop and this one was seven pounds brand new with the tags and it's really lovely and long i think it's so gorgeous but it might be a bit too dressy so I think I'm actually going to go for this one because it's such lovely weather. And then I've got these shoes to wear and they were £4 from a charity shop. And these were brand new as well. And they're the right colour. So they're going to look lovely with this dress. And I'm all ready. I've got this lovely dress on. It feels really comfortable as well. It's not tight or clingy. It's just perfect. So hopefully when everything gets back to normal, I'll have somewhere, you know, if I can wear this to some kind of something when you know life gets back to normal so yeah this is my outfit i've got my sparkly shoes on and it's time to go downstairs and see how the curry pie is getting on and fingers crossed it's not burnt and hopefully it tastes delicious and here is the curry pie it looks amazing and we've got some extra veggies and the tender stem broccoli is on its way and i've just pulled myself a glass of wine it's a malbec rose tesco finest one and it's actually really nice so i'm gonna have a bit of this before i i've got all hot you see it's a hot day the curry pie is hot i've just been getting hot upstairs that sounds dodgy but you know it's sort of warm upstairs hang on a sec i'll just have a sip of this and then it's time for a taste test i've got my vegetables oh no i just dropped a carrot vegetables Ten stem broccoli, and now I'm going to try the curry pie. So are you ready? I know it probably took a, a long time, not as quite as long, not as quite as long, not as quite as long as last week with the meringues because that took six hours. This one, I think this took me about three hours, all in all, maybe two and a half. Oh, that's Toby and me in the other room. So I'm going to get into this. It's crunchy. I love the fact, I know Lee kind of helps as well. I love the fact I've made a few things. Look at that. It's not falling anywhere. I'm gonna put it on the floor. Oh, there we go. That looks so good. Right, are you ready? Here it is. Hope you enjoy it. Da da. Looks good, doesn't it? Okay, so I did do um, a separate video with table like Easter table decor, if you can see it. So I'll link that in the description in case you want to watch it, but you might have already seen it. Okay, I remember after this, you've got to go straight over to Luke's channel for his pudding 
and hopefully you've seen Ewan's starter. So if you haven't, make sure you watch that. I'll link both of those videos in the description as well. So yeah, your pudding and your starter. Right, I'm gonna try it. So I didn't even try it when I was making it. So hopefully, and it did say it was gonna be very hot. The sachet said it was very hot. We'll see. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to get a bit of potato. Might be hot though. Right. Let's go for it. Have we got any chicken? I've got a little bit. It's really nice. That tastes exactly like the one my mum used to make. She would love that. She would have loved this. So I'm so glad I now know how to make my mum's curry pie. And it's so good. I'm going to grab a bit of chicken. Oh no, I just got curry pie on my posh dress. Okay, I'm going to try this bit of chicken here just to make sure. Boiling hot. Mmm. It is absolutely yummy. I'm not just saying that. If it wasn't very nice, I would completely um, tell you, but it's lovely, it's so nice. I think Lee and Toby are gonna love it. And it's not too hot. I would say it's a bit of a kick to it, but it's not overly spicy. And I'll link in the description, the video I kind of watched to get the inspiration from. It's only about one minute long, which is why I probably liked it. And then um, I'll link all the ingredients as well because I don't know, I was a bit all over the place earlier on because I wasn't sure what was going in it. So thanks very much for watching this video. Cheers, everyone. You ready? Cheers. I'll come over. Cheers. Yay. Make sure you've got a drink. Do that too. Even if it's a cup of tea. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now you've got to go over to Luke's channel. And after you've had Pudding with Luke and watched his video, you've got to vote for your winner of the series of Come Dine With Me. So it'll be linked in the description. After you've watched all three videos, vote for your winner. So it could be Luke, it could be Ewan, or you never know, it could be me. I doubt it will be me, but um, yeah, vote for your winner. And we've all said, if our individual videos get to a thousand likes each, we will bring it back. Okay, so the, all three videos have to get to a thousand likes each. So make sure you give it so make sure you give it the thumbs up. And if you did enjoy the video, give it another thumbs up. You can only do one, but do that anyway. And if you um, haven't subscribed yet, please do. And I will speak to you very soon. But thank you. I hope you enjoyed our Come Dine With Us series. Go off and enjoy your pudding. I'm going to eat the rest of this curry pie. I'm going to call Toby and Liam in a second. They can have it with me. But thank you for dining with us. Head over to Luke and we will speak to you soon. Bye.